Hello there, welcome to my kitchen again. In today's review, you can see I've got in my hand, I've been to M&S and I've got the M&S food, wholesomely spiced hot chicken curry. Um, it's in a tin, yeah, I know you never quite know what you can get in a tin. Is it gonna taste any good? I don't know. I mean, with M&S, you sort of hope you're gonna get something, don't you? Uh, it's got three little peppers, so it's the hot one. There is a mild one as well. Uh, it's got fruity, warmly spiced curry using tender pieces of chicken breast. You can either stick it in the microwave or heat it on the hob. So I'm going to heat it on the hob. And as usual, I'll give a review, I'll taste it, I'll show you a bit of the tin, and hopefully you can make a bit more of an informed decision whether this is for you or not. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to see. I've got good hopes for this, but you never quite know. Anyway, let's have a look. Okay, so here we are. Let's have a look a little look at the tin. So yeah, I mean, pretty standard tin. Got the old ring, which is quite helpful. Uh, wholesomely spiced hot chicken curry. Um, fruity, warmly spiced curry using tender pieces of chicken breast. Delicious with naan and mango chutney. Uh, serve and suggestions, so you can just serve it like that with some naan, mango chutney. Uh, it serves two, this. Quite interesting, that's good. Although I could probably eat this to myself, but we'll see. Cook instructions quickly, really simple. Uh, you put the contents of saucepan, heat slowly, occasionally stir, do not boil, or you can bang it in the old microwave. Place contents in microwave container, cover with vented lid, and it, there's the things there. But as I say, I'm going to do it in the um, in the old hob. A uh, bit of info there, so you can see the ingredients. You'll feel free to pause that if you want to see more on the ingredients. But it's basically cooked chicken breast pieces in a hot curry sauce with coconut and mango chutney. May contain bones and uh, store it before the best before date in a cool and dry place. Well, that's all pretty standard. These last for a while. I think it's like got quite a long date. 400 grams. You can recycle the can, which is all pretty good. 400 grams. Okay. Right. Let's empty it out into the saucepan and have a good look at it. Right. So it says to give it a bit of a good shake. Let's open up and have a look. Yeah. I smell it. Can't smell nothing. Right, so here we go. I'll tell you what I've noticed straight away is uh some big bits of chicken in there. Which you know, I don't know if you've had these before, but sometimes you can get like let's give it a little stir. Um yeah, nice big bits. Sometimes these things can not have much chicken in them. Right, let's stick your heat on. So it says just to um, stir occasionally and do not let it boil. So let's get the old, put it on a bit low. So not let it boil. And looks quite nice, the consistency is nice. I mean, these sort of things are always quite nice if you're just in a rush, aren't they? You know, you can always have this with some rice, I'd say. I'd probably have this with rice, but I don't think I'll do any rice today because I just want to sort of see what it's like. So I'll get back to you in a sec. Right, so I've, um, I've only stirred it occasionally. And what I've noticed, it's nearly warm. It's, I'll tell you what, it is hard. It's really hard not to let it boil. I've got the this the uh, gas on the really low, really low. Look, you can see it's barely on. And it just started to boil just now. So it heats up really quick. So it's not one of those that takes long. But look what I've noticed. The size of the chicken chunks are really quite nice. They're big. And I think that's probably M&S going the extra mile a bit, isn't it? Look. I'll show you closer in a minute when I taste it, but I think you basically just got to heat it up slowly. I think it's nearly hot. It's starting to smoke and there's a very slight boil. So I think we're pretty much there actually. So I've just taken it off the hob. It's definitely warm enough, you see? So I'm going to pour it it's into this bowl. As I said, obviously you can have what you like with this. Naan bread would be really nice. I'm not that organized, but 
at the end of the day I want to taste this not the non bread um, I have got some rice I would probably have with this as well but for the sake of today I just want to try some of this so I'll show you some of the chicken chunks close up if I can there we go look there we go so there's some chicken nice bits of chicken Also, I'm just going to see if I can cut a bit of chicken up, show you what it's like. It smells really good. So, lovely texture. Imagine you're dipping your naan bread into that or rice. It would soak it up a bit. Um, lovely. Yeah, the, I'm impressed with the chicken. Let's give it a try. So, here we go. It... Right, so on how it looks and how it smells, I would say good, good at the moment. Uh, nice sauce, let's try a bit of the chicken. Mm. Yeah. Good chicken. Nice. Hang on, I just have one more. Mm-hmm. So, lovely temperature. So if you like hot things, remember this was the hot one, wasn't it? And there was a mild one, but this isn't horrific, so don't worry. It's not, it's not like gonna blow your head off, but it's got a nice spice to it, because I don't like mega spicy stuff, so don't worry. The chicken I am impressed with. Massive bits of chicken. Mmm. So, what I will say to myself when I'm reviewing these things is, honestly, would I buy this again? Would I have it? Or would I just say, no. This one, I absolutely would buy it again. Highly recommend it. Really nice sauce. Big bits of chicken. Tender. They've done well on this. Mm. Definitely recommend it. Um, I would give that 9 out of 10. Honestly, because I've tasted some rubbish ones in the past. But they've done well with this one. Definitely have it with some naan bread. Have it with some rice. You will not be disappointed. It's a really quick meal. You've seen it. Two minutes. Two or three minutes heating on the hob. So if you're in a rush, you have a nice meal. Get a bit of rice in. Get a bit of naan bread in. Have this. You won't be disappointed. Let me know if you've had this before, what you thought of it. Um, I would give it, as I say, a good score out of 10. Big bits of chicken. Absolutely impressed. Well, remember, if you want to see more reviews like this in the kitchen about food, remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up if you did like this one. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'm going to finish this off. This is lovely. Mm.